In this video, we are going to continue with quadratic inequalities. You will find this on page 27 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. In this video, we will focus on quadratic inequalities less than zero. Okay, so it's smaller or smaller and equal. So find the range of values of x for which this is smaller than zero. So we do exactly the same. So we're going to sketch the graph. Then if a is bigger than zero, do you see it's positive there? So it's having a minimum point. For the x-intercepts, y is equal to 0. Substitute y and then find my value. x is 7 and x is negative 1. And it's looking like this. Okay, but now, because it's smaller, I'm going to show you in your think yellow will work. It's below the x-axis. Okay, and I described that part. So on the number line, it will be negative 1, to 7 but it's not including negative 1 and 7 because there's not an equal sign and that is the solution okay I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number B as well as number 3 maybe I just I don't want you to do it I just want you to take note of number 4 it's not to say that all quadratic inequalities can, can factorize. So if it cannot factorize, then you will just use the quadratic formula. But usually they will help you like they did in this question. It's saying to you, uh, solve the equation, then you will see cannot factorize, as must use the formula. And then you s two decimal places, it's also an indication that it cannot factorize, I must use the formula. Okay, but I'm not wanting you to do that. You can do that one on your own. But in this video, I will only focus on number 1b and number 3. Okay, let's start. Number 1b. The reason why I gave this one is because it's a negative. And it's, it's good that you... It's so many times positive that you sometimes get too much too used to positive. But this is a negative i value. Okay, so I'm going to start. So I'm going to I can I can do it exactly the same as this. I prefer first saying this. So a is smaller than zero. Can you see it's smaller than zero? So therefore, and if it's smaller, already go and have, a, have this in your mind, okay? It's a negative person, a negative person, not smiling. Okay, and then if it's a negative, but it will have a maximum point. So therefore, maximum point. And it, it will be very good if you can just make a sketch there that you don't forget to draw it like that. Okay, now I'm going to start and I'm going to say um, sketch the graph of and I can just put it like this. I think the best is to just put the y y is equal to negative 3 x squared minus 3 x minus 4. It's actually just that side. Now when I sketch this graph, then, so for the, I first want to find the x intercept. So for x intercepts, y is equal to 0. So it's 0 equals negative 3 x squared minus 13x minus 4. Okay, now I'm just going to factorize it. Now if I'm factorizing it, let's just quickly see what it factorized to. Um, I think, in, is it a 13? Okay, let's just quickly see. This is negative 4. Now this is 4. If I factorize, I'm just going to make it first positive by dividing by negative. Okay, now I, I try to find that factor, and if I'm trying to find, it's 1 and 3, uh, let's see, 4 and 1, because it's a positive, so I will add the other cross products. So it's 12 plus 1 
and that's 13. And the biggest overcross, okay, and the signs will be the same, positive, positive, x, x. So it will be x plus 4, 3x plus 1. So therefore, x is equal to negative 4, or if I put this equal to 0, x is equal to negative a third. Okay. Now I'm moving up a little bit. Now I'm going to make the sketch. Now if I make the sketch, don't forget your graph. So your graph will go, okay, I first like to mark the points. So where is my points? It's negative 4 and negative, okay, so there's say negative a third. Oh, it doesn't matter, there's negative 4. Okay, and the sketch is like this. Okay, so, and now I'm going to see it's smaller and equal. So if it's smaller and equal, okay, sorry, uh, then it's indicating, and I, I want to use a highlighter again, it's indicating this. Do you see? So basically, if I go back to my pen, it's from there to this and from there to this. So on a number line, if I must draw it on a number line, and I'm just going to get my... Okay, and now I'm just taking my pen. So, okay, let's just see if it's negative. Uh, is it equal? Yes. Then I color it in. So on a number line, it will look like this. So therefore, if I must write it, x is smaller and equal than negative 4, or x is bigger and equal to negative a third. Okay, let's just move this a bit. I didn't write that nice. Negative a third. Okay, so x is smaller and equal to negative 4, or x is bigger and equal to negative a third. Okay, and that is my final answer. Okay, I forgot. Let's just do number 3. I'm going to make space. It's, it's really, if you can do this, just remember quadratic inequalities, make a sketch. Number three. Find the range of values of x for which x squared 9x plus 5 over 2. So if I'm going to simplify this, I'm just going to multiply across. So 2x squared And if I take it over, okay, now if I'm going to do this one, okay, again, don't forget, okay, let's first say, this is, mm, I want to have another color, okay, so positive A, so is bigger than zero, so A is bigger than zero, so therefore, and don't forget, if it's bigger than zero, it's a what face? Oh, I'm going to even make it yellow. It's a smiley face. But we say it's having a minimum point. So therefore, minimum point. Okay, and now we are going to start doing it. So find the range of values of this. Okay, so if as soon as I'm doing this, I'm just going to now say, sketch the graph. Okay, and it's y is equal to 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. Okay, so if I'm sketching it, so if I want to see where it the y intercepts, not y-intercepts, think or 
it's the x-intercept um, so I put the 0 and now I'm going to factorize and remember if you cannot factorize use the formula quadratic formula okay but let's just see I think this one can um, it's negative so it's negative so it's 10 minus 1 is 9 the biggest over cross product it's this one negative positive x x so it's going to be 2x plus 1 x minus 5 so therefore x is negative a half or x is equal to 5 Okay, now I'm going to go on. Um, let's just move it up a little bit. Okay, so it's negative a half. And it's 5. And don't forget the sketch looks like this. Okay, so basically, and now also don't forget it's smaller. Now, if it's smaller, then it's indicating, okay, let's rather make it red, this part. Okay, and don't forget also that it's not equal, so it's open. I want to just make it red. Open, open, and it's this part. So if I'm, I'm doing it on the number line, Mm, let's just get all the white and then I'm indicating this with negative a half and five and don't forget now I have to take another color it's open and it's open and it's like this okay therefore let's end up so Put the x in the middle. Usually, if it's if it's a solid line there in the middle, then x is in the middle. So it's bigger than negative a half and smaller than five. And and just it's just a simple mistake you make. So just check your inequality sign that this inequality is corresponding. So if there's an equal, there's not an equal. But if there's not an equal, then this ones will also not have an equal. If there's an equal, then this ones will also have equal signs. Okay. And that's how you do it.